Hey, it's Zach. And Amy. Welcome to another edition of Rockin' Comics. This time around, we're going to do something we're going to change up a little bit. We're going to talk about comics, pick a rockin' comic, and then Amy's awesome stuff, and then a tease. Okay, so we're not changing up that much. <laughs> we took a couple things out, we're adding one thing. I just wanted to get you guessing. By the way, my favorite part about this whole thing is my expressions and all of our thumbnails for the videos. <laughs> it's like the video gods smile at me every time this happens. Like, oh, that's fantastic. We're doing that one. That's my expression. Love it. Oh, so this week's books: Batman and Robin number twenty-five. I like it. I like it a lot. The Jason Todd story as Red Hood continues. Damien and Dick Grayson, Bat or Robin and Batman, that interaction between those three characters, so well done. Judge Win Judd Winnick is doing such a good job of writing this. The big downfall for me is the art. Big downfall. Two different artists. One a little bit better than the other. No, they're not terrible, don't get me wrong. I'm not dissing on the art that I don't think they're awful. Amy is, I think, less inclined Very, to say that. Yeah, I did not like the first part at all. You know, I will say I really like the color technique that they used. Okay. It's um, slightly watercolor-ish in parts. Okay. So I like the coloring. See, there's, <laughs> there's always something to be gleaned. Always something positive. Exactly. So, Batman and Robin, I, I, once again, I just I really like the storyline. It's working for me really well. Not quite the rocking comic of the week, but that's okay. Uh, next up, Thunderbolt Fear itself tie-in. It's Thunderbolts number 160. We get to see more about what's happening with Kane Marco, the, the juggernaut, and his giant hammer he has acquired, and the havoc he's wreaking, and how his team members try to help him out. I like the art, I like the story in this, and the action is really good. The art for me, I really liked, especially when they go delving into the soul of Kane Marco. It was very, like, Egyptian? Yeah. What Cave you... painting, hieroglyphic. Like, the color palette was kind of... I don't know, like washed out yeah. and very like natural tones. Really With cool. With some like bluey earth tone, jewel tone stuff. Jewel tones. That's something you're not going to hear every day. <laughs> I would hope. But I really liked it. That part alone. Yeah. Really intrigued. Once again, another strong contention for me for Rock and Comic of the Week because it's got great story, great, good art, and uh, decent action. So, but not quite the Rock and Comic of the Week for me. Moving on to the one of the big guns of the week, Fear Itself, book four. This gets half my vote for Rock and Comic of the Week. I love the art. Stuart uh, Eminen, I love his art. Half for a long time. Matt Fraction doing a great job with this story. A lot goes on in this book, in my opinion. We find out a lot of things. More more about the serpent. Uh, we Bucky's dead. Wah, wah. Probably should have said something, but... If you've read the last book, you know, didn't look good. Bucky's dead. Cap is back being, uh, Steve Rogers back being Cap. So you find a lot out about this in this book, and there's enough in there to make it my half vote for Rockin' Comic of the Week, which means I have another half vote left, which goes to <gasps> Flashpoint number three. Yay! Obviously, I think someone has picked, given their entire vote to Flashpoint number three. Right here. And it's just... <laughs> Man, these are such, both these books, both companies, in my opinion, doing a really good job with their big story arcs this summer. Flashpoint, I think Flashpoint for me is getting a little bit more attention because it's going to have such an impact on the mm -hmm. DC Universe, and I'm so much more into it than I was when I picked up issue number one. Mm -hmm. And man, I'm a fan, and I still, we've talked about it before, I really like Cyborg in this. Yeah. I like the Flashpoint Cyborg, I just do. He's, yeah, I mean, I think when we picked up issue one, we were like, man, Cyborg! <laughs> Holy crap! He's kind of badass. Yeah, yeah. Like in Cyborg. So you can see Cyborg a lot. Batman, uh, Thomas Wayne, and uh, the Flash. Guess who's got his powers back? By the way. Guess who was really happy about it? Guess who made his own costume that looked like the regular Flash costume, and who really liked it? And there you go. <laughs> so that um, between the two of us, that gets one and a half votes for Rocket Comic of the Week. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, I liked my fear itself. That's funny. Then I have votes. There you go. Flashpoint. However, <laughs> the book I thought I was going to give my Rockin' Comic of the Week to, 
is from Boom Studios, Elric the Balance Lost. Ugh. I wanted to like this so much more than I did. Bottom line is, if you don't know anything about Elric and the characters and the universe he comes from, this is going to be really, really confusing. Mm -hmm. And even for someone who's familiar with Elric and his universe, fairly confusing. <laughs> However, for both of us, there was a bright spot at the end of the book. Yes! Free preview of Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes. Wow. Vol volume 1 is out in August. Issue 5 is out in August. And both it costs a day. dollar. Right! A dollar for volume 5. Hello! And you can get them both the same day. Why not? It's Planet of the Apes, people. She speaks truth. Come on! She speaks <laughs> truth. So that was a, a pleasant surprise at the end. But like I said, I really wanted to like that book more than I did. I'm sorry, guys. I know you're doing, uh, trying really hard. I was just confused. I felt you're like trying too hard. I felt like yes. <laughs> I felt like I shouldn't be that confused. So that's it for this week's comics. A fair amount of them. Now we move on to Amy's awesome stuff. Amy's awesome stuff. Which is Harry Potter. There you go. Last movie's coming out next week. If you don't have your tickets and you want to go to midnight release, you should go buy them like now. Someone's going. Uh, I already got my ticket. Someone may be going. You should go get your ticket if you want to go. I gotta get up early though, <laughs> or stay up all night. One of the two. Seriously, um, our movie guy came in for one of our sister stations today. He said that I think they went on sale Monday, and he talked to the guy Tuesday at one of our local theaters, and he's like, yeah, we've already sold over a thousand in one day, and it's not even out till next week. Wow. Um, and I think last year it sold out, like, several days before. That's impressive. So if you want tickets to go see your midnight release, you better get your tickets now, because you may be out of luck. And you don't want that. You don't want it. And I, of course, I bought my 2D tickets. I don't blame you. It's in 3D. Um, I, I have zero interest in seeing it in 3D. I don't either. So. I wouldn't even consider it, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't even know, like, what is going to be so exciting that has to be in 3D. I mean, are they really going to have, like, so much of this in here? I don't. This is not a Harry Potter kind of movie no. like this, where well, it's going to be in 3D. There is that scene that they showed in the previews where they're all shooting their wandies at the, at the castle. <laughs> and maybe that, maybe, maybe get the other side, and then it's like, ah! <laughs> Being attacked by a horde of fireflies! Oh no, it's one sparks. One sparks. I don't know. <laughs> magic missile! Oh boy. You're welcome, geeks. I just did the magic <laughs> missile reference. Wear it. So yeah, I don't know. We, we talked a lot in the um, podcast version, in the doobly do about Harry Potter, about what we think of the books on the whole, the different movies on the whole. Uh, I didn't say this in the, the podcast. My favorite movie, um, like, just movie-wise, okay. is number three. I can see that. It also happens to be my least favorite as far as following the book goes. Isn't that funny? That's weird. But I think cinematographically... <laughs> That's... That's fancy dog for a movie. <laughs> from, in a movie perspective, I think it's a great movie. All right. It looks gorgeous. It's told. It's told in a really great way. I love that director. I can't remember who it was that directed number three. Okay. But he was my favorite director, and that was my favorite. So, yeah, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> well, Harry Potter action for you. Know. Harry Potter. And I gotta say, um, I think. I, I'm into the books. I'm into the movies. I think you're more into them. Yes, probably. But th part two is really the movie I'm looking forward to the most. So It looks like it's going to be a really good movie. Absolutely. So go and see I it. I think there's a lot of people that have seen the movies that have never read the books that have no interest in reading the books, and they still really like the, the movies. Absolutely. So you don't have to go read the books, but you should probably watch the other movies. <laughs> yeah. You'll, you'll be a little confused. That will not be. <laughs> a little bit. Movie 7 Part 2. Probably not the movie you want to start the franchise on. Who is the snake-looking dude? Is he like the bad guy? Does he not get into the sun? Wait, is that Dumbledore? I'm pretty sure that one of these guys is called Dumbledore, and he's gay, and I think it's that guy. Wow. I gotta be honest. Didn't see that coming. Did not see that coming. J.K. Rowling said so. And neither will you if you don't watch any of the movies before now. J.K. Rowling. Yeah. You, vixen. Mm. Now, speaking of movies, we have something very cool to tell people. What? You know that one of the movies that we're both looking forward to this year is Captain America the First Avenger. So guess what? Amy and I are going to take some of you to the movies with us. Woohoo! It's kind of cool. Go see Captain America. 
we're even going to take you out to dinner beforehand. Because, you know, I'm going to take you out to dinner first. It's polite. <laughs> Just saying. So coming up during the week uh, on the air uh, at uh, Extra 921 or Extra 921 and 997 and here online at Extra921.com, you will find out more details on how you can go to the movies, go to see Captain America First Avenger with me and Amy. Sound like a plan? Sounds good. I like it. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I really, really, really hope it's not going to suck. Oh <laughs> this whole Green Lantern thing made me so scared. You gotta understand. I do. I, I was excited about that. I'm the one who saw it. I know. You didn't I even see it. it you didn't even see I it. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> she don't see these things. And everyone's like, oh my god, it's so bad. It wasn't, I was as, like, what? It wasn't as bad as people say, if you don't think too hard. <laughs> so we're taking people to go see Captain America. More details coming soon, here and elsewhere. In the doodly doo? No, <laughs> not today. Not, not in the doodly doo today. <laughs> Maybe next time in the Dirty uh, well. Okay? Okay. That's it for us. I'm Zach. I'm Amy. Till next time. <laughs>